I'm Larry Buckendorf and this is Rob O'Day and this is my backyard that uh, we've been here for th over 30 years and uh, we're talking about the prairie dog issue that existed behind us and started in 1995 when the prairie dogs moved in there was no prairie dogs here before that time and this part of the land to the right behind us was just just like it is today pretty pretty pristine only it was hay it wasn't a bunch of weeds prairie dogs moved in and just moved it way up the hill started with you know whatever 10 15 20 and expanded by nine by 2005 within 10 years to 5,000 six years ago it was nothing but a dust bowl prairie dog mounds and and uh, a lot a lot of prairie dogs and it was pretty uh, pretty unsightly Prairie dogs would come up to the fence, and some of them got in the backyard, not only mine, but clear on all the way up to the up the hill. There's 42 homes along here, and we, we all had prairie dog problems back then. And then the plague came through in 2006, 2007, 2008, and killed off most of them because the plague is pretty, pretty bad. We were thankful that the plague came through. For that reason, we were very uh, worried about it with our pets and our children. Uh, since that time, in the past, that'd be five years now, going on six years, the ground has replenished itself. But now, after the uh, OSMP group decided to move in, at that time, 500 prairie dogs back last year, we were notified. Uh, in the July-August time frame, the Department of Wildlife received an application from the city of Boulder to put the 500 prairie dogs into the Richardson II open space area right behind me. Concerned Citizens of Gun Barrel Group was formed that night on March 8th and uh, in objection to that move. We've mobilized several hundred people now across the community and have collected over 1,200 signatures of people who oppose the city's relocation plans for prairie dogs here. Well, the outcome of that was uh, a ruling on Friday by the Division of Wildlife to reject the city's uh, permit application to relocate prairie dogs to this land. We think it was a, an extremely good decision, very thoughtful decision by the Division of Wildlife. They really took their time and, and weighed the issues and really took into consideration the concerns of the neighboring property owners. And that's, that's really been at the root of the issue here. The city didn't have a, a viable mitigation plan to keep the prairie dogs from spreading into private property owners' land. And, and that's the, the major reason uh, the community so overwhelmingly opposed this move. But what's happened here in Gun Barrel is the, the people have just gotten more and more resolved to making sure that their voice is heard and that, yeah. that they have a voice. Unfortunately, you know, or, or fortunately, this neighborhood doesn't have a vote in city politics because we're outside of the city boundary. So this was really a, a, a landmark decision by Division of Wildlife to step in on behalf of the concerned citizens who don't otherwise have a voice and protect us as well as protect the land that's so important to this community.